Hey guys, it's me Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So somebody on Instagram asked me if I would do a video on YouTube of a full face using only drugstore products and they asked me that a long time ago and so I was trying to think of what video I wanted to film today because you guys know I'm going to try to get into the swing of things of filming and uploading at least once a week and um so I just was like you know what let's just film full face using drugstore products so without further ado let's get on into the video so first to prime I'm going well this is also going to be affordable products too so not just drugstore but also affordable so I'm first going to take the ColourPop Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray because this was the only like affordable primer I had and I'm just going to prime my face with it for foundation, I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl Violet's Healthy Elixir. I am the shade Soft Honey. I really like this. I think I used this foundation in my first video, like I did. It's kind of light. Ooh, gosh. I need a darker shade in it because, like, last time I used it, I think, was, like, January. And it's May. And so I've gotten some sun since I used this. I remember the covers of this, like I haven't used this in like five months, but I remember the coverage of it being better. Maybe it was because I had less acne back then. In real life, this foundation looks light on my skin. Um, I don't know if it does on camera, I can't really tell. So for concealer, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is the shade C10. Once again, I bought this when I was a lot lighter, and so honestly, I think this color is a little bit too light for me. I need to get like C11 or C12. Oh, the color doesn't look that bad. Maybe it was just like the initial, I think it might have oxidized a little bit once it's like dried, but. Yeah, my skin just looks really nice. And now I don't have like a loose translucent powder, but the e.l.f. translucent um, Prestige as a powder is probably my favorite powder ever. I use this every single time I do my makeup, so I'm just gonna take this and try to. It's not gonna. I need a brush. I'm just gonna take this and set my under eyes with it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera since I don't have a drugstore eyebrow product, um, and then I'm gonna come back um, and then we'll move on with the rest of my face. So. I'll be right back and my brows will be done. And I'm back and my brows are filled in. So, um, I am for bronzer. I don't really have drugstore bronzers. When I was like picking all the products to make this video, I was like, I'm bougie. Like, I like high end stuff. But I have this e.l.f. bronzed peach, like bronzer and blush duo. And I've never actually used it. It's like they're, I think they're like cream to powder products. So I'm gonna try to take a brush and put this bronzer on with a brush. This is just a Morphe M530. I love this brush for bronzer and I guess we'll try to apply this. I don't know. That makes sense, like it's really pretty. It looks really pretty, but like I just don't know if I would use it again. I don't know. I, I have no idea. For blush, I'm gonna take, this has been in a couple of my favorites videos in the past, or at least one of them. It's been in multiple videos I've done though. This is the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush in Peach Pemrose. And it is really pretty. Like it's like the kind of blush colors I love. Like I love like peachy, corally blushes, but I just kind of forgot I had it when I got new blushes that I liked more, if that makes any sense. And then for highlight, um, I'm gonna take this. I've actually never used this either. I just buy a lot of drugstore products and then I don't ever use them um, because I just don't wanna stray away from what I'm used to. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold. And I've swatched this multiple times, but it feels like wet. Um, so I don't know if I should apply this with a brush or whatever, but this is a ColourPop Small Fluff Brush and I'm just gonna try to apply it with this. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, Maybelline. It's kind of like a, like it's like blinding, but it's kind of like a, you have to build it. I think it's not, you're not gonna get like a glow glow the first time you put it on. 
right now for the eyes is a palette that i don't use as much as i really should this is the soap x makeup revolution um ultra eyeshadow palette that she collabed with makeup revolution if you guys don't know soap does nails is one of my favorite youtubers fun with a color pop tapered blending brush and i'm gonna go into the shade cup of tea this one please do not do that go I'm going to go into Cup of Tea, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put that in my crease. This is a really pretty color. With the same brush, I am going to take the shade Pumpkin right here. This like, kind of orangey shade. And I'm going to put that in my crease as well. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe R39 brush and I'm gonna go into this dark red shade called Danger right here and I'm just gonna put that right like around this area just to deepen it a little bit. I don't wanna blow that color out though. I wanna keep it concentrated right here to kind of hollow out the eye. And going in with a ColourPop E1, or it's like the small tapered blending brush, I'm gonna go in to the shade Rosewood down here, this like dark brown, brownish purple shade, I guess. And I'm gonna put that just right on the like outer corner. I totally forgot that we were doing a halo eye. It's fine, you know what? Just put it on both and then we'll go in with a different color. Okay, now I'm gonna take the ColourPop. I have no idea what this one is. It's like the flat eyeshadow brush. I don't know. Um, I guess we can just go into the shade. Just the rosewood shade and just put that on the outer. Ooh, that was a lot of pigment I picked up. The outer, oh, 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 oh gosh. The outer bit of the eye. around like that so it kind of hollowing out the eye then I'm gonna go back with that Morphe R39 brush into the shade Danger and just blend kind of like soften and blend everything out kind of want to take like this gold shade right here cold sparks fly ooh, ooh. Put that in the middle. But I'm gonna kind of diffuse it even on the brown spots just to kind of like add some depth and dimension back. I swear all eye looks look crazy before you put lashes on. I'm gonna go in with this really, really small, it's the BH Cosmetics Rose Quartz Number no. 7 brush. And I'm gonna go into the shade right here called Pumpkin again. And just kind of like blend. Okay. And I'm gonna take that pumpkin shade and put it on my lower lash line as well. And then going into this like light orange shade right next to it called Cloudberry. I'm gonna take that and then kind of just like buff it out. So we are done with the eyes. I'm gonna go and put on lashes and mascara and eyeliner off camera um, And I will be once again right back. So last but not least we have the lip I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop Luxe lipstick in Foolish I just like this. It's a nice terracotta orange shade kind of like matches and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lips Look at that pigmentation, like it's so opaque. And guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Um, but anyway, guys, go check me out on all my social medias. They will be linked down below. Um, go check out my last video. I did a full face of products I don't use anymore. Go check that out. Also, 
so hit the subscribe button i don't remember what side it's on is it on this side is it on this side i have no idea um and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload upload in the future and don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video stay classy and have a great day or night whenever you're watching this bye